Hello students, welcome back to, to, to our YouTube channel, UTCFRX, a, a channel uh, which uh, has the main missions of uh, training and giving many people the skills of online forex trading. Today we are going to run the new course, the new lessons about our beginners' uh, lessons. But before we start, let's meet after the intro. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, UTC FX. I'm Jean Pierre Mohile. Uh, today we're going to run a uh, new lessons, but before we start uh, the new lessons of today, let's do a quick recap of what we learned in uh, the previous lessons. In the previous lessons, we have uh, learned about the price chart, where we have seen that the chart, uh, there are three main charts which are used among the traders. And we have seen that the one, it is the line chart, which uh, shows us the big picture of the market, only the bar chart and the Kanusuke bar chart which could give the more details like the high, the low, the open and the close of the, any particular market in a given time. We have also uh, given you the reason about the trading platform. We have seen that uh, the most used ones are the MT4, MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5 and the C-Traders and we have seen that none of them which is better than anyone, another one, only you have to choose one which is suits for you and trace it and master it. In fact, we've seen that for beginners, MetaTrader 4, it is uh, enough because it is free and it is easy to use. And the most forex brokers offer this uh, uh, trading platform. And it is a good start to start with if you are a beginner to forex uh, Trading. I hope you remember these reasons and if you missed any, please go back to our YouTube channel and you will see these reasons or you can even go to our, YouTube, to our website www.ultimatetraders.raw and you can get more information about uh, all of these reasons. So without delaying, let's start with today's reasons. But if you are new to our YouTube channel, Please subscribe so th and uh, hit the notification bell so that you will not miss any video we'll upload. Share this free content to your friends and families so that they will, may also get the, the golden content about the forex trading. And the like to help our YouTube channel to, for YouTube algorithm. Today, we are going to run about the price actions if you but uh, let me take you back a bit if you remember what we have learned about the three techniques of analyzing the market we have seen that uh, different traders analyze the market using uh, uh, either fundamental analysis technical analysis and sentimental analysis we've seen that whatever method they use or a combination of two or all technical uh, way of analyzing the market works what is important it is to know how the method you've chosen works and master it i personally i like a price sections because price have every information i need to make a high probability trades for my Self. Therefore, that is why I'm giving you the introduction to the price sections. And uh, we have told you that the price sections, uh, the technical traders uh, focus only on the price. So, price action it is simply a term used by the technical traders, which refers to uh, which interprets and describes the movement of an asset in any given period of time. That is what we call price actions. The price actions. Uh, focus is only on the uh, history, history primary on the price history or the price movement of uh, any given asset in any given period. Different to the fundamental analysis, where we need to know the economy, geopolitical information, news, macroeconomy. For price actions, uh, we do not pay attention 
two fundamentals that make influence the movement any price movement. The price action traders, uh, they base the trading, uh, the trading on the market environment only in the price history of any particular asset. They learn uh, to market environment any particular market will be found in one of these two market environment. The environment one of the behavior of a market it is a trending market or ranging market. And the market, if it, the market is trending, it can trade either up or down. And if it is not trending up or down, it is ranging. And the ranging market, you call them sideways. Let's see in a bit in details what is a trending market. A trending market is a market which is trend, in which it is moving in one clear direction. And uh, if a market it is uh, trending in upper directions or if it is making a series of higher highs and higher lows, we call it an upper trend. And uh, if a market is trending in down directions or if it is making a series of lower highs and lower lows, we call it down trend. Let's use any illustrations to show you what we need. Maybe you will understand it better. Let's say we have a market which started here and pulls back a bit. This high price which the market has uh, reached in a particular time, we call it high. And this price, where it is started, we call it low. Note that the market does not move in a single straight line. So let's say the pulls back is a bit here, and then go up, then down, then up, down, up. So you see, the market has made different high here. This is another high, but this high it is higher than the previous one. That is what we call the higher highs. And this high, it is higher to the previous one, and that is why we call it higher high. This is also the low price which the market has uh, reached in this particular time. But even though it is uh, low, but it is higher. It is higher than this uh, low here, and that is why we call it higher low. This is another low, but it is higher than the previous one. It is a low, but it is higher than the previous one. You see that this market it is making a series of higher highs and the higher lows, and. Uh, even though it was not in the straight line, but you can clearly see that the overall direction of the market, it is upwards direction. So this is what we call upper trend. It is a market which is making a series of higher highs and higher lows. And in overall, the overall direction of the market, it is upwards directions. Uh, if uh, this is a trending market, it, the market could also trend in uh, downward directions. It works like this. Let's the market make started there and made a pullback like this. You can clearly see that this price where it started, we call it, it is a high. And this price it has reached in a particular time, where it is a low. But as we have seen on an uptrend, the market does not move in a straight line. It pulls back and make it goes down and pulls back in different directions and so on. So you see uh, this market. has made another low here, but this low, it is lower than the previous one. Here we have a high price, but this price, it is lower than the 
higher previous price. This is another lower high. This is another lower low and this is another lower high. So even though this market was not moving in a straight line, but you can clearly see that the overall direction of this market it is downward direction. So this market, which has the overall direction which is pointing down, or which is making a series of lower highs and the lower lows, it is what we call a down trend. So this is the first behavior of the market environment we will be experiencing in any particular market. So let's continue uh, with the second uh, environment or behavior of the market. So if a market is neither trending up or down, then it is what we call range bound market. So a range bound market is a market in which the price bounces between a specific high and a specific low. This market, we also, um, it has a higher price which it fails to break and a lower price which it couldn't break either. And uh, the highest price which the market fails to break, we call it resistance, is the lowest price which the market could not break, we call it support. Due to this market environment, different traders, we call them horizontal ranging or sideways market. There are others also which call them choppy market. Let's go to the illustrations to see what we mean here. Let's say we had a market which uh, make a such a movement in a particular time. Uh, as a trending market, this price, low price, where starts to call it low, and this is the highest price, it literally we call it high but after that the market bounced back and failed to break below this low and then bounced bounced back up and after it reached this resistance it failed it find a resistance here at this high and failed to break up this high and then bounce down again and so on You see, uh, these markets, in this market, contrary to the trending market we've seen, you see that the highs are nearly equal. And the lows are nearly equal. So the market found the difficulties to break above this particular high, this one and it failed to break below this lowest price. So this highest price which the market failed to break through, it is what we call resistance. And the lowest price is what we call support. So you see the market it is trending between this high and low, so it is what we call horizontal, choppy, or ranging, ranging market. Note that there is no particular market which will be uh, trending in the range or up, the up trend or down trend. The market condition of the market environment changes time to time. Your job as a trader, when you are trading, it, was, it will be to define the current, the actual market environment which we're going to help you to determine which strategy you are going to use to trade so let's go to the real chart in order to show you how uh, the range market looks like let's take this uh, chart of gold and uh, let's consider that uh, this is the starting point you see gold has uh, gone up here then spruce back up down, up, down, up, down, and so on, up. You can see that gold was making a series of higher highs.
This is what we call the high, and this was a higher high. And uh, this was our lowest point here. And uh, this is another low, but it is higher than the previous low. That is why we call it higher low. This is another higher low, another higher low, another higher low. You see that even though gold was not moving in a straight line, uh, but the overall directions of gold for this period from uh, 2018 to 2020, it was in an upward trend. This is what we call an upward trend. The market is trending up and which is making a series of higher highs and the higher lows. This is what we call a NAP trend. I hope I have said that the market does not move in a single uh, environment or in a single direction. You see that from uh, 2000 in August 2020, gold has failed to break above the price of 2074 and uh, it failed also to break below this. Uh, recent higher low which is at uh, 1690 from then from 2020 june you see that gold was since trending the bounced back below this low and then it went up to the previous high and you see after to reach the back to this low it is now even bouncing up again so it is clear that gold has failed to make this uh, low it is uh, all of these lows are equal when they are around uh, 1680 and these highs are uh, equal which is around uh, 2080 and 1680 so this is what we call a range market or said the way horizontal market. It is a market which is trending between two specific prices and the highest price is what we call an uptrend and this is the lowest price is called what we call a down trend. For a down trend, let's go to Euro USD to show you how a down trend looks like. If you go to Euro USD, you will see clearly that uh, this uh, market, let's consider this as uh, the highest point. You see that it is moving in a downward direction, even though it uh, sometimes it pushes up uh, the price. But uh, you see that the overall direction of this market, it is a downward move. The overall direction of this market since uh, May 2021, where well, you see that this market it is trending down. This is what we call low. If this is our high, then this is our low. Therefore, this will be uh, the lower low. And uh, this will be uh, our lower high. It is high compared to this low. Unfortunately, it is lower than this high. 
And that is why we call it lower high. We will see this in details in the upcoming lessons. Don't worry, if you find it, you are finding this confusing, you will be able to get them. So you see, this market is making a series of uh, lower highs and the lower lows, and the overall direction of this market it is down down trend. So this is what we call a down trend market. I hope you understood about uh, you understood the market environment and the market behavior. Because all trading decisions and the trading clinical analysis will be based on this market environment. So it is the first thing you need to grab if you have chosen to be a technical trader. For more information, you can go to our website uh, www W. You'll get more information. And if you missed anything, if you don't understand anything, you can comment also to this video. And we'll be very glad and very happy to give you more explanations. So let's stop of, uh, this lesson of today here. But if you are new to our YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will not miss the next upload of our video. And uh, like and share so that your friends and family may also get this free ultimate contents about Forex trading. Thank you very much. May peace of God be with you. See you next time.